What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 84 here, bringing us more Battlefield Hotline on PS4. Today's gameplay is pretty much of an insane one because I managed to go 50 kills and 16 deaths. And by the way, this was Hollywood Heights on Conquest, though. Conquest, not Heist Mode or Small Conquest. This is Conquest Large on a small ass map. So there's gonna be a lot of kills back to back in this gameplay because everybody's tight. So, anyways, um. In this gameplay, it's pretty much an example of sneaking behind enemy lines. I managed to do that, and it was a nice way, by the way, because I can't believe they didn't find my spawn beacon. It was like literally like right there in the middle of the road, but people still ran over it. They didn't notice it. They didn't destroy it, so I kept on sneaking behind the enemy lines. And um, that's exactly what got me to the 50 kill mark, because I've never gotten to the 50 kill mark until today. Um, oh, never mind. Actually, I did before. Back in beta, back in Battlefield Hardline beta, I did manage to go 64 kills and uh, like around 20 deaths, but that was in beta. But uh, but now, you know, in the regular game, I managed to go 50 for the first time. And um, overall, it was an incredible gameplay. Just watch this little part because this is a part where um, pretty much I can take these kinds of skills and go into rescue mode so I can, like, you know, go up against one, a lot of people with one life only. So. Just watch this little part because it's pretty much exciting. So um, the weapons that I used in this gameplay was the MPX. This one was a major key towards my victory and also towards my sneaking mode. Because in the beginning, I ended up using the MPX without the silencer. I actually had the muzzle break or whatever the you know the, the freaking you know barrel attachment was. But um, you know I was just I just wanted something else that w that can actually take out like large crowds of people. But then later on, after I started to sneak out behind the enemy lines, I actually ended up using the silencer for the first time ever in this game. Because if you were to use the silencer in any weapon right now, the gun fucking sucks. All right, you're gonna have to go cl close quarter combat with any kind of weapon that has a silencer on it because you just can't shoot from long range. It's kind of a hard because it shakes too much. The muscle break really, really helps out on the accuracy, and um, you know, without it, you can't really aim downfield. So um, I had to do something, you know. And I did. I just kept. I just kept it close quarters, and that pretty much led me to the highest kill mark in my, you know, Battlefield Hardline history. And um, you know, I just found a lot of snipers just laying around, as you can see in this little part right here. They were all just laying down together, and I was like, all right, let me throw an in incendiary grenade, and it freaking worked. I killed two of them. I don't know what the third one was at, and there he is, just running down the road, kill him from behind, throw a incendiary grenade behind me so, so nobody can sneak up behind me. Kill this guy, kill a second one, and kill a third one. Where's the third one? There he is, behind a freaking rose bush. And it was pretty much dicked out move because he was just hiding there, you know. And uh, so, yeah, that's what this was, was pretty much led me to the, this many kills. And, um, you know, nobody knew where I was. Nobody knew where the spawn beacon was. I'm surprised. It was like literally right there behind a the tree. If it's behind the tree, you know, it's pretty much camouflage is pretty much right on there. On there and uh, I might do it again. <laughs> I will do it again. This time I'm gonna aim for the 60 mark, you know, the 60 kill mark, because I haven't done that before. Only in beta, but that was beta, you know, because all the weapons were accurate as hell, hell compared to this one. So, and by the way, I hate when sometimes my character throws like a girl, like he just literally just throws it to a wall or some bullshit, and I'm like aiming on the side and just hits the wall instead. So, anyways, also another weapon that I was using was the the taser. The taser is a good way to keep yourself a lot more uh, silenced out there, you know, a lot more stealthier. Because it doesn't make any noise, nobody knows where you're shooting from, because it kind of acts like a silencer in some, somewhat. And, um, you know, it doesn't make any shooting noises, so you're pretty much safe with the taser. That's why I was using it, not interrogating anybody. And by the way, I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying, well, why didn't you interrogate them when, every time you were tasing them? Because if you interrogate them... They'll give you the enemy position, which is pretty much everybody in the goddamn map. And, you, and seeing how there's like around, I don't know, 24 people on the map versus 24. You know, it's 24 versus 24. They're going to have a lot of freaking people being revealed. But the reason why they didn't do that is because I want to move my ass out there. Because I know there's always somebody behind me. So, yeah, I, I got my excuses, man. I, I, like, I don't like to stay still. I don't like to wait for some bullshit like that. I just want to take out people how I wanted to take them out. As you can see, that was a nice coincidence. Another guy spawns right there, and I was like, what the fuck? This fucking, you know, Enderman-looking motherfucker just spawns in the corner and surprises the shit out of me. That was kind of random. I didn't expect that, and I still got the kill. That was a nice uh, triple kill right there. So, 
And that one too, that was a big surprise. I was like, holy shit, Chris R2, shit them all. I mean, literally, that's what's going to my mind. I was like, oh shit, all this shit is random. I'm not preparing myself for anything. All I know is there's there's only one guy in that hallway, but then all three of them just pop out, like out of nowhere, and I managed to kill them all. So uh, it's just random, guys. I don't know. I know most of you guys are questioning like my uh, you know my ways here, but it's just that it's it's out of random. I'm not prepared for anything. I'm just just good at the fucking game at reactions and shit right there I should have used the MPX I know I missed a big time right there I would have gotten the triple and move on down the hill over here so I can like take out more people there's the freaking camper behind the rose bush he's always been, he's been there the whole damn fucking game and by the way we're losing look at the meter on the left side we're losing 105 to 170 I don't know how we ended up you know you'll, you'll see at the end you'll, you'll see in the end how the hell did the freaking tides change? Because I don't know, we were losing by so much. And I was over here taking out people like crazy. Freaking Sijin, Ninja, Nightmare, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Reroll, KSA, 91, all of them coming uphill, take them out. Spawn behind my uh, ally. Just take out this guy right here, the freaking camper that's been there the whole fucking game. It's 87 to 133 right now. And uh, I'm try we're trying to pull a comeback. And um, I did manage to cut like the rest of the video right here. As you can see, now they're like 24 to 37. We ended up winning the fucking game. I don't know how. Because apparently we ended up dominating. As you can see, we got all the flags. And uh, we ended up winning like that. Maybe because I was keeping you know the enemy busy back here on, on, on flag number uh, D. And um, they were worried like they were all looking for me. And you know they ended up losing like that because they were all worried about me. So there it is, 21 to 0. We ended up winning like in the freaking last second. And I ended up going 50 kills and 16 deaths. My highest mark so far here in Battlefield Hardline. So that was an insane gameplay, guys. I can't believe it. That was a smooth, silencer, stealthy ass gameplay. So you guys want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe for more and also leave a like to support uh the this kind of series, you know, the Battlefield Hardline game, and it's pretty awesome. I recommend to buy it. Buy it right now. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Battlefield Hardline.